If you are using Proc Assess in SAS VIA, you can easily compare models to find the best one by creating ROC curves. Watch this 8 minute video to see how. I'm Beth Ebersol with SAS and this is the Technical Insights and Expertise series. Here's an ROC curve that I created using SAS Studio from models run in SAS VIA. You can see on the vertical axis I have the true positive rate and on the horizontal axis I have the false positive rate. This true positive rate also equals sensitivity and false positive rate also equals one minus specificity. So here I can see that my gradient boosting model performed the best because it is highest and farthest to the left. So I've maximized my true positive rate while minimizing my false positive rate. Following the gradient boosting model, it looks like my random forest model was the next best model and then followed by the logistic model. Now I'll show you how to create that. I'm starting in SAS Studio on VIA. I go to my Snippets tab. I open Snippets, Machine Learning, and there's a pre-built snippet that ships with the software called Supervised Learning. I double click that and bring it in. This snippet will prepare and explore my data. It will perform supervised learning using a random forest model. And it will evaluate um, and score the data. It will also assess model performance for that single uh, model and generate an ROC and lift chart for that. But I want to change that code so I can look at multiple models. So I'm going to scroll down to line 166, and I'm going to delete from there down. And now I'm going to add some different code. You can see that the one model that I've already have created is, is a forest model using PROC Forest. And I've scored the data um, just simply using some data sets. The first thing I've done here is I've just added a reminder that I'm using the HMEQ sample data set, which is on home equity loans. And in this case, bad equals one is the event, meaning the loan defaulted. Bad equals zero is the non-event, meaning there was no default. Now I'm going to build a predictive model using gradient boosting, and I'll use PROC grad boost for that. And then I'll just simply use a data, data step to score my data. Next, I'll add another model, a logistic regression model, and I use PROC log select for that right here. And I'm not going into the model development. Uh, I'm just going to go into the assessment. So if you have questions on that, you can look at some of the other videos that I'll give a link to at the end. But I basically um, am modeling bad as the event here and scoring the data. Now we're getting to the meat of the matter. I want to assess my model performance. I start by putting a live name statement just uh, somewhere to put my things uh, as I create them. And I create a macro here to uh, run the PROC assess multiple times. So I'm creating a prefix to identify which model. I'm uh, identifying what will be the variable event and what will be the variable non-event. So you can see I'm using PROC assess here, and my target is bad. I'm using level equals nominal, event equals one. Okay. Uh, you can see that I'm running that this whole thing three times. First for the random forest, next for gradient boosting model, and finally for the log select. And I'm identifying here the output that was the variable for the event or non-event. In these two cases, the event variable was probability underscore bad one. And, uh, and in this case, it was pro uh, p underscore bad. At this point, I'm going to run everything by clicking on the running man. That took a few seconds to run, and I'm going to go from my results back to my code. Now I'm going to analyze my model using the ROC curve. So basically, I'm going to create a graphic. 
the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to format my my value for my part my partition identicate identifier. So zero is going to be validation and one is going to be training. Uh, then I'm just using data step to combine the ROC info from the three, you know, I ran PROC SS three times. So I'm going to combine that ROC info into one data set, identifying um, which model is logistic, which is the forest model, etc. So I'll run this. and go back to my code. Now I use simply use PROC SG panel to plot my validation. In this first step, I'm going to plot my validation and training data together on a separate graph for each separate model. So I'm going to write this as PROC SG panel. I'm going to bring in my data set that I created, my combined data set. I'm going to use panel by model. And my series will be x equals FPR, false positive rate. My y is my sensitivity, which is my true positive rate. And I'm going to group things by my partition identifier or indicator. And I have this format in here. So let's see what happens when we run this. OK, we get a really nice graph here. You can see I have the true positive rate and the false positive rate labeled. Um, I have each model on a separate graph, and I have my validation in blue and my training in red. So I can see that the validation and training data results are fairly close, which is good. I like to see that. I don't want you know, uh, wildly different results for my training data than my validation data, or that might me mean I'm, I was overfitting in my training. So I have these results. But let's say I want to look at forest, the gradient boosting, and the logistic model all on one graph. So I'm going to change things a bit. Let me go back to my code. So now I'm going to plot my ROC curves for all models together. You can see that I still have the, almost exactly the same code. Uh, it's still PROC SG panel, but what I've changed here is in my panel by, I'm now looking at my partition indicator. And in my group, I'm now looking at my model versus before I had my panel by model and my group indicator, group by partition indicator. I've also added markers, just circle filled markers so that I can see my results a little better. I'll run this. And now I get the graph that I showed you at the beginning, where I have all three models on the same graph. And for my gradient um, boosting model is the green dots uh, and line, and that is the farthest and up and to the left. So that is the best model, followed by the forest model, followed by the logistic model. This is my validation data, which is generally what I would use to compare models. Here are some links for more information on SAS VIA. I hope this video was helpful. Be sure to check back with the Technical Insights and Expertise series for more information, demonstrations, and examples across a wide range of topics on SAS software.